The following is a presentation of WON Sports, America's home of champions. Live from Big 20 Bowling Center in Scarborough, Maine. All season long, we will be raising money for bowlers and their families to fight against the costs of this terrible disease. To donate or take part, go to candlepins4cancer.com as you see it on your screen. Today, we're pleased to feature the stars of our final ladies ladder matchup. Our ladder juggernaut, Mario Johnson, and our number one qualifier with a 614, Amanda Carroll. And your hosts, Paul Grant and Mike Morin. Thank you, Greg. We're here now at the top of the ladder, number five seed Mario Johnson against number one seed Amanda Carroll. Mike, talk to Amanda first. And by request, I get to talk to Amanda <laughs> Carroll. Hey, but you know, we always talk about the bowling. I, I don't know how many people know that you've got a pretty cool career going in physical therapy and rehab, and it made me wonder how helpful is that in you keeping yourself in shape to continue bowling as well as you do? Yeah, it's important. I mean, obviously taking care of yourself is good, and I always feel like I do better when I am, you know, exercising and taking care of myself. And you're bowling in front of the home crowd here, which I know you've done many, many times. How does it feel? Extra pressure or extra reinforcement? No, I don't, I don't mind it either way. I try to just focus on my game and not worry about what's going on around me anyways. So. Right, well, good amount of money on the line today. Not a bad payday. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. $1,200 for the winner, $800 for the runner-up. The lady that's gone 5, 4, 3, 2. Will it be liftoff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> 129, that last match, third string, a one pin lead, going to third string, clutch as usual, down the stretch. Just gotta focus and I just gotta do my game. Do you, I don't really pay attention to anything. Do you, drink, do, you, do you have ice water in your veins? <laughs> no. <laughs> Good luck nope. today. Thanks. So it's a three string finals here. If there's a tie, a one string roll off, no points involved. The winner, $1,200, run up $800. The final string underway here at the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine, on Canada Bowling Network and WN Sports New York. Thanks, Paul, and hello to everyone watching on Candlepin Bowling Network and uh, across the WON Media Network. If you've never seen Candlepin Bowling, it scores just like big ball, except you get three small balls instead of two big ones. It's tougher than it looks, and any pins that are knocked down on the plate stay on the plate and can be used as live wood. Thank you for that explanation, Greg. It's very helpful because we have new viewers every week from around the country. And I think people have to realize there are a few differences in this game versus the big ball version. Including playing the wood that falls down, the pin of the deck. That's Championship match yep. underway. <laughs> Bundle of six, Mario. Almost. Woodley five in the seven. All the marbles on the table in this match. We've come this far, and as you said, uh, Mario's pretty much run the, run the table so far from fifth to the top seed. Eight through one. First to three. Let's bring Greg Uyar. Thanks so much, Paul. What a series we've seen, and what a great ladder climb it is by Mario Johnson, including the tightest match we've seen so far is between her and Shannon Scribner in that three-pin thriller at the end. Can't wait to see what happens in the finals. Mario off to left has the one, two, and four. These go about 51% of the time for Pro Bowlers Out Wood. Stats provided by Canada from Bowling Network, where you can like, share, subscribe. No credit card required for outstanding coverage Pro and semi-pro, Canopy Bowling Network, free on YouTube. And thanks for us watching the WON Sports Network. Mario Spare off the wall. Pretty shot. 18 of the ball through two. Well, these two are good friends, but now that the match is underway, they are mortal enemies because this is for all the money. And or at least most of it, anyway. Here's one of the... Fiercest bowlers in the game, Amanda Carroll. Love that clockwork, Justin yeah. Waters type delivery. Swinging motion and rhythm. Dominant for years, just 40 years old. Out of the big 20 here in Scarborough, Maine. Home cooking here in lane two. Shannon Scribner lost her match by three to Mario in that second round. Heartbreaker. Just missed right. Wanted that one. Leaves up the two. They bowl together in world tournaments, team tournaments. 10, 
Right now up two, up against a spare from Mario Johnson. It's pretty intense, isn't she? Oh, yes. Yeah, I love the fierceness, the competitiveness, the feistiness. Yet she's a, a great champion. All those emotions, she's able to channel it into some really great bowling. Runs team main athletics. Also nine, 10 strike. 20 plus two through two. What a start here in Scarborough at the big 20. There'll Mike be Warren. more of those today, I'm pretty sure, Paul. For those don't know you across the country, tell us about your radio days and your being an author as well. As Mario's on a spare first. Yep. We'll see what she does on the fill here. In right the pocket, on the head pin. seven. And the no, five. Six. No, the five didn't go. The five did not go. Spoke too soon. Parallel Wood, the Parallel four, pins. five, Spoke. seven, eight. Now, to answer your question, I've been in radio, started in Michigan. 52 years ago, January 2nd, 1971. Done television, cantlepin bullying on TV. I've written three books, do a lot of speaking, and I refuse to retire. And you look totally different now than you did on Cantlepin Stars and Strikes. <laughs> you can watch a lot of those in Alley Chat. Yeah, I do. I didn't have as much gray hair back the last time we did Cantlepin Stars more, and Strikes. More today working with me, though, huh? <laughs> well, there might be two or three there, but no, it's been a great pleasure. Thank you for having me oh, today. Oh, it's a pleasure, a dream, and an honor to be with you, Mike. A privilege to be with you. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thank you. Six in the spear, 24 through two, nine, 33 through three, in the first of three on Canop and Bowling Network and WO and Sports Network. In the pocket, triangle plus ah, the 10. That looked good. How do you hit exactly where you should in the pocket this, this and leave pins on both sides? The trials and tribulation of Canton Bowling, it's not a gimme. I should know that, but I still have to ask it. You know, it's, it's, it's rhetorical every time. It's I know. like golf. A lot of comparisons to golf. Use the wood. Good try. Kind of interesting that she did it that way. I can see what she was going for, and it almost worked. As opposed to going for the sure three. She's been a delight to watch for these last matches. This is the fourth one of the day. Mario Johnson, Mar Marion, Marion. Yeah. Mario Johnson, they call him Mario? Tell well, us why they call him Mario. Well, well because you know, with this particular uh, scoring system, uh, when you put your names in, there's only f room for five characters. So M-A-R-I-O, there's no room for the N. So she continued to stick with Mario instead of Marion, and even her shirt goes with Mario. So call her either way. Amanda for a double, eight. The six and nine. Nine in that last box of Mario, 42 through four. Yeah, Amanda Carroll from Gray, Maine. In rhythm for a spare and strike. Got it. Boy, she's going to be a tough one to beat, I can just tell, huh? 30 through one, through two rather. 40 the ball through three. What a start for Amanda Carroll. Yeah, she hasn't left a pin standing yet today. Averaging between a 111 and 113 here at the Big 20, a tougher house. Her season best for a whole year, 122. Wow. An impressive staff will talk throughout the broadcast. High single of 182. On the bonus, just missed right. But she was able to knock out the uh, very pesty 9 and 10, aside from the four horsemen on the left side. So this will be easier for her. 46 through 3. Going for bonus money for $25. She's got it. Wow. Break out the bank, Carol Johnson. <laughs> 56, the ball through four. Wow. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh. Al says he's not paying it. Al says he's not paying. There's, there's wood we'll, out there. We'll take him to court. <laughs> Mendo will take him to court, and Mendo will win. 10% discount for wood. <laughs> All right, you better get your lawyer, Al. <laughs> First bonus money awarded today for multiple marks. Yeah, we'll get a public defender instead. He doesn't want to pay for a lawyer. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Wow. <laughs> uh, just having some fun here at the Big 20. Mario, good try. Got the five, four, seven, ten. I feel like a kid in a candy store working with you today, Mike. It's been a blessing uh, to work with you today. A privilege yeah, and honor. Well, thanks. I never really thought I'd be back in the bowling booth again because, you know, there aren't any, any commercial TV uh, stations doing it. But you guys have brought the level up so much on streaming bowling, and now you're spreading it around the country. I'm, I'm thrilled to be back. Didn't think I ever would be again. Good try. Somehow wouldn't go to the 4-7. For the Atlantic Candlepin single store all season long, the Friday Night Pro League Game of the Week and the Sunday Monthly Extra League on the ACST Facebook page and Candlepin Bowling Network. 
as well as the Pro Series. Mario, nice ball. Eight, nine. Just a 10 pin left up. Clean break. shot. That, that is the toughest single pin shot in the game, don't you think, for yep. a right hander? 72% success rate for Pro Bowls, the Wood stat provided by Canopin Bowling Network. For a spare. Yes! 16 of all through six, second spare of the string in this championship match from Scarborough, Maine. She needs every mark she can get. Amanda Carroll has not left a pin standing through the first four boxes. A 10, a strike, a spare, and a spare. She had a 6-14 in the qualifying round to be the number one seed. It was her first 600 in over two years here at the Big 20. Is that right? Wow. Tougher house. On the bonus, eight, nine, dominoes. <laughs> Seven pin wants to go. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. 65 through four. Amazing, Amanda. And another $25 awaits for her fourth consecutive mark, if she makes it. For four in a row. Bang! There it is. Wow. 75 half plus one, and Mike Warren says, wow! <laughs> Another $25 in bonus money, it's $50 now. What's Amanda Carroll's average again? Between 111 and 113. The Tuesday night Speed League. She, was, she had a 152, I covered her Tuesday night here, the Speed League, 152. Fifth string. On the bonus, just six. Wood to help. Boy, she's accurate, huh? She is. Man. 81 half. And what's her high single? 182? 182. She throws a double in here. She could do it. She could exceed it. Oh, what a try! So, so close. Feeling it here in the first. Amanda Carroll, 10. She is so automatic. 91 through 6. They actually lost her and she, her partner, doubles partner, for over 31 years, Brooke Betteridge, to Glennis McKinley's team in the women's doubles event you saw on Kenneth Ball Network yesterday. They lost by one pin to get in that final round or the playoffs mm. at that point. So Glennis got in and they won the whole thing with oh. Shannon's, again, Shannon Scribner and Kelsey Layton. Deb DeRocher. Lennis McKinley won the title. Mario Johnson, three in the spare, 63 through six, down 28 somehow. Mike Moore now with the play-by-play. -play. Pulls right. out the string. Looking to uh, make the spare, but there was a lot of difficult parallel wood there, so she'll go for the six, nine, 10, and hope for the 10 box, and oh! Punch out right through the middle. You're so accurate that you don't get the uh, results that you probably deserve. That's for sure. So, so far, six for six head pin accuracy for Amanda Carroll. Mario Johnson has been getting stronger and stronger as she goes along the ladder. Also good accuracy as well. And missing the head pin this time. I didn't realize you were uh, keeping track of the uh, head pin uh, accuracy, uh, which is which is a great stat to have. Spotted, spotty accuracy, I confess. Spotty but this time. accuracy. You're so humble. <laughs> Perfect right. strength for Amanda Carroll. All spares, tens, and strikes in Candlepin. And a good uh, nearly 30-pin lead for her. Not quite, but pretty close to that. Just into the second half of the first string. It's the best of th or the three total pins is, is your winner. Field goal from Mario, 79 through 8 in the first of three. Already down 12, and Amanda's two boxes in hand. Look at these scores, a 10 strikes. But you, you, uh, you always know what she's thinking based on her facial reaction. If she, if she does something she's not happy with, get a bit of a scowl. But that's the mark of a really competitive person. First pin left in the deck, 9, 107. Switches over to lane three of the beautiful Big 20 on Route 1, Scarborough, Maine. Yeah, right off the exit off of 95, uh, where Cabela's is, then about a couple miles from there. Another head pin here, Mike. 3-2 split. That is maybe the most frustrating thing about this whole game is when you, uh, you're too accurate, which in this case, you want to be just, you know, a couple inches either way. She was right dead nose. And what a try! Oh! She got it! Wow! What a shot for a spare! 
the 3 6 10, the 4 7, no wood. Amazing Amanda, 1 10, and a ball through 8. Seen some amazing shots today. That may be the best one. The most exciting, anyway. She had what? Most of the spread eagle. The only uh, pin missing was the two. Five marks in the string. Amazing. Back to Mike. Yeah, that'll take a little wind out of your sails if you're bowling against Amanda Carroll. Mario Johnson, though, has uh, pretty much maintained full control today. She's had a few periods of down bowling or down spots, but she's going to get this one. No, oh, look at that. Oh, wow. You can't like catch, catch, catch up to me, Mike, on those balls. Uh, it's kind of like catching COVID, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, thanks. I'm a, I'm a disease, huh? <laughs> a walking disease. I feel the love. <laughs> no respect. I get no respect. I'm telling you, I get no respect. <laughs> Thank you, Rodney. I love doing Rodney Dangerfield. I used to have mean Johnny Most, too, the Celtics announcer. Can you can you do it the night that his pants caught fire at the garden? Oh, when yeah, he was smoking yeah. and he dropped yeah. an ash in his, yeah. his crotch? I remember that one. Yeah. <laughs> Six from Ari in the spare, 95 through 9. A decent string, but Amanda Carroll killing it here in the first in Scarborough. Boy, to get out to a big lead certainly makes things easier on Amanda. Three space for Mario fills with six, three, and six. And a 105. Seems like she deserved better than that. Yep. I'm sure she feels that she did. Amanda Kell already up by five overall with a spare mm -hmm. and two boxes in hand. She had the first $25. She has $25, making $50 in bonus money with four marks in a row. If they get a 400 for three strings, $100 in bonus money, triple strike, 500. Amanda kicking that leg. Reminds me of uh, Nancy Wilson Hart with that guitar kick, that big leg oh, kick. All right. Wow. Four in the spare, one, 14 through eight. Tough leave, missed right, one, four, seven, and nine. Yeah, I think the ball went and down. And Amanda Carroll has returned to earth in human form. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think her ball hit the lane a little sooner than she wanted it to, and she lost a bit of the accuracy on that shot. And a rare eight box. A shoot for the short two there, one, 22 through nine. Mike finishes up here in the first. Yeah. Tell us about your book again. The book is called If These Walls Could Talk. It's the history of a Red Arrow Diner, which just turned 100 years old. And all the interesting characters that have gone there, from politicians to comedians to, uh, to very wealthy. And uh, people like Paul Newman has been there, Kevin Costner. It's a fun place, and it's a book I just did on the 100 years. You can get it at hobblebushbooks.com. Or your Facebook page, Mike Morin, M-O-R-I-N. Mike, yeah, that'll work M-O-R-I-N. Well. And we're not going to talk about the moron thing again this time, are we? Thank you for bringing it up anyway, <laughs> Mr. Passive Aggressive. <laughs> M-O-R-I-N, Mike Morin. Oh, what a shot of spare in the 10th ball! Getting applause in the announce booth here for that shot. Can't do anything wrong. 132 and a ball in the 10th. This is looking at a 140 game here. That'll be the highest easily of the day. I see you get 147s, 158s, 152s. And a good 35 pin lead, roughly. And the oh. dreaded half Worcester. I, I hate that shot. Well, by two, Phil. Nothing wrong with a 134, 29. 105. First string win, up by 29. But Mario Johnson's been clutched on the stretch. With two strings to go, we'll start our second string in just a moment on WON Sports and Kenneth Bowling Network. It is totally unacceptable to me when people dump on New York. But how can I stop them when it's plain to see we're dumping on ourselves? We've got to sweep our sidewalks, put our trash in plastic bags, the bags in cans, etc., etc. How can we get the world to respect us if we don't respect ourselves? If you're a New Yorker, then sweep it, can it, bag it, and don't dump on New York. Welcome back. Final ladder series, ladies inaugural Kennelpins for Cancer roll off finals. Mario nine. She needs to keep doing that all game. Championship match, $1,200 to the winner, $800 for three strings of bowling. Not a bad payday. A little bit lower than Mike's salary. That's all right. Spare. <laughs> It's a good shot. Gets applause from her opponent, Amanda Carroll. 
delightful woman. Physical therapy is uh, her, her chosen career. I asked her if that helped her stay in better shape just by being aware of body mechanics. And she said, yeah, it's helpful to be able to do that. And I'll just insert as one gets older, that's even more helpful. She's yes. still, as you point out, pretty young, 40. Softball player, too. Oh, is she? Yeah. And coach as well. Well, obviously just a great athlete, understands the games, understands mechanics, can talk to people. Uh, really a joy to be uh, watching her today. Mario Sphere 8, 18 through 1 in the second of three, trying to mount a comeback. She's been down before. She's gone from five to the top spot. And a Sphere, All back right. to back. She's going for bonus money next box. Mario on the move here in the Big 20. All right, so she's getting about 10 pins back of that 29 that she surrendered in game number one. 28 and the ball through two. Cannot count her out. Had a one-pin lead that last round against Glennis McKinley and won the match going away. So another shot going off to the right as the uh, fill ball did in the 10th box last game. Make a bit of an adjustment here. Uh, she's one of the rare ones that actually goes from left to right. She knew right away. Yeah. Not happy with herself at this moment. To lose your composure would not be good. I don't see any sign of that. But if uh, if Mario strings a couple more marks, then suddenly we got a ball game. Wide left for an eight. Down ten in the string. Now, so she's gotten a third of the pins back that she gave away in the first match, the first game. So she won $75 in that first ring, $50 for four spares in a row, 25 for each after three, then 25 consecutive. And then she won 25 for winning that first ring. Off to left. All right, well, Not a bad leave, the one, three, six. There's a break. But she throws the ball so well that, you know, when you throw the ball well, typically you're going to get breaks like that more than, you know, the, the more the mere mortal bowlers like us. For a spare, just missed. Not by much. Tough start for her. And Mario can tr try to pounce on the lead here in the second. Nine. Put it in the same 17 place. 17 through two. Mario Johnson, 11 in the string plus a bonus ball. So, so she could go up nearly 20 pins uh, with a good fill here and get within 10 pins in the match overall. Mandy Carroll won the first 134-105. Mario on a good run here to start the second. 28 in the ball on lane two. Goes right, not a bad break, seven. One, two in the eight behind the two. That one's reasonably easy. Hit it in the right spot. Spare eight, spare seven, 35 through two, up 18 in the string. All of a sudden, the match is down to 11, just like that. And for bonus money. For three in a row, missed it. Mm. Well, that's too bad, because she was bowling the last two boxes opposite, open frame. Now Johnson loves it, no bonus money to pay out. Mario hooks it left. All right. Nine, 40, four through three in the second of three championship match on Canopy Bowling Network and WON Sports New York. Like, share, subscribe. Get your family and friends involved in this great game of Canopy Bowling. Canopy gift cards are a great way to do it all season long. Caleri, aimed at the Bob Caleri. One, two, four, seven in the nine. Fourth box, second string. You're watching Mario or Mario or Marion. Take your pick. Johnson, who has plowed through the field today, beating Deb DeRocher, Shannon Scribner, and Glennis McKinney, uh, McKinley last game. And now she's at the top of the heap here, hoping to knock off the top seed, Amanda Carroll. She has a Star Trek character, seven of nine here. He gets one for nine. 53 through four. Amanda open her first two. Trying to build that lead back up. She won the first by 29. Can she down take here in the second. Yes. Of the two opens she's up against now. Match lead is 11 right now, box to box. Yep. In favor of Amanda. Just missed the head pin. Wow. So she was going too far to the right prior to that. And this yeah. time I think she overcorrected. That's the Bob Caleri leave. 
one, three, six, ten, eight in the back left. If Bob were a left-hander, of course. Nice ball off the wall, won't go. Oh. Almost pulled it off. That's the one I didn't think would still be standing. Thought she might leave three up there. She could yeah, only the six. Like it. Still looking for her first mark in game number two. Nine. Now they're open. 26 through three. Down 18 in the string, up 11 in the match. Up against a nine from Mario Johnson. She's certainly a hometown favorite for sure. When's uh, the last time you called a Kenneth and Bowling match, Mike? Uh, that would have been in uh, April of 2007. That would have been uh, Candlepins for Dollars on Channel 56 in Boston with Frank Malicote, who is now uh, doing TV on the West Coast. At Pilgrim Lanes, which also is no more. You haven't skipped a beat either, have you? No, I'm still I'm still out there doing whatever I can to annoy Amanda, people. Try to work this out. Got it! What a shot for a spare! That, that was nice. was beautiful. 36 in the ball through four. Down 17 in the string of 12 of the match. Plus a bonus ball. Mike Moore with the play by play. Well, she did give Mario Johnson uh, an opening for a couple boxes, and now Mario has to try to come back now. That looks like a strike, and she gets an 8 10. Are you kidding me? That easily should have been a 9. But she now has to deal with a very difficult spare. Where's the wind gust when you need it? Yeah. Or an, or an earthquake. Gave it a nice nice shot. The pin did topple in the right direction, but it fell behind the pin and into the pit. So she'll be in the 60s, which is a great halfway mark, but when you're bowling against Amanda Carroll, it's not going to be good enough on most days. And this will be one of those days. Mario 10, 63 half. It's a better than pro average for Lady Bowlers. She's averaging 111 right now. High single of 192. All right, so another game, another hit on the other side and getting the uh, the mirror image of what she just had. Uh, but this one can be made a little more easily, I'd say. Here's that Star Trek character reappearing for the second time. <laughs> Seven of nine. I think she wants to cap the one on the right. Oh, well, even better. 73 and a ball through six in the second of three. Amanda Carroll working a spare in lane two. Mike, just some records for Amanda Carroll. Three main state records. 454 all at New Point Entertainment Center in New Point, Maine for a high three. High five, a 703, a main state record, and a 1342, 134 plus average for 10 strings, a main state record. Five in the spare, 41 through four. Down 12 on the string of 17 in the match. Back to Mike Moran. Yeah, she's been off the, off the head pin for most of this game. Uh, and uh, again, off the object pin this time. She is so very close. When she's accurate, I think she's unbeatable. Today, her accuracy, at least in this game, just a little bit off. She'll be the first to admit it, but she takes down the one pin for a 10 box in the fifth frame. And she's 12 pins behind in this game. A lot but, of great bowls in the state of Maine. Christy Hapler, oh. Vanessa Hoff. And we have Maddie Kelly, obviously, down here, down in Massachusetts. Now. Yeah. Pulls extra lanes, another great bowler. And we certainly miss the great Dan Murphy, who passed away just about a year ago, last February. There was a man that had so many great stories. When I did my lunch with Tommy and Stacia book, and I, I toured various libraries and, and organizations, he came to a couple of them and told stories with me, which he didn't have to do that. But he became a, a great friend in his last, I don't know, 20 years that I knew him. Oh, she got to go! How about that? Belated Merry Christmas! She's acting very sheepish, like, oh, I didn't deserve that. Oh, gosh. 51 half, 61 <laughs> of the ball through six. Excuse me, as Greg Leox is saying. Do I get royalty fees, Greg? For that one? Uh, uh, don't mind if you do. Look at her face. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather be lucky than good? <laughs> like, the, like the main lottery winner last night? Oh, yeah. Is that person here today? Did, why couldn't you have made that announcement? You were doing some PA work. Here. Sold a lot of wow shirts and donated a million dollars to Cannabis for Cancer. 
So Al's going to track that person down that won the lottery from Maine last night. <laughs> Mario, four in the spare, 77 through six. And a, a, a tough four fill on her spare in the sixth box. So now she has a reasonably easy conversion to make it a 10. And gets eight. So 81 through seven, going to fall a little bit further behind here, Amanda, who has 61 through uh, six. Her high triple is 439, high five 701, high 10, 1301, a 130 average. Delightful woman. Again, that was that was two inches away from being a hammer, I think. But instead, she gets the spread eagle minus the two pin, the three pin. But at least this one's makeable, a lot easier than the spread eagle. Well, there'll be two open boxes for Amanda Carroll to capitalize on when she steps up here in just a moment. Mario, strong start, eight, spare, spare seven, 35 through two, a spare four cents, nothing else. Now a nine, 94 through eight. Mm. Very, very difficult work today for uh, our bowler from Exeter. Mike, just some stats about Amanda. She won a state, a, a um, state record for three, five, and 10 string ladies doubles. One of them she did when she was six and a half months pregnant with her first daughter. Oh my. So are you saying it was doubles because of that or was it? <laughs> Could have been triplets. Yeah. <laughs> Good follow through on that shot, hitting on the Brooklyn side, but leaving the five, six, and the ten. And working on a spare is Amanda Carroll. So that gives her a little bit more of an advantage over Marion. Sixty-eight through six. Right now down nine in the string. Up twenty in the match. Still very close, really, with the ability of both these bowlers to become explosive. 10, 78 through 7. Just some impressive stats. Sanford Bolarama, the house record, who should be won a charity match with her doubles partner, Brooke Betterjean, Al Johnson, and somebody else we named later. April 20th, 2013, a 682 high five. Wow. House record. Do the, the string just a moment. 5 1 split, stomps a foot. Boy, I like Those that five shot. Five strings, 146, 138. 118, 136, 144. 682 at Sanford House Record. Has the big 20 here, it's House Record, 683. Wow! wow. <laughs> 88 and the ball, 5 1 split. How about that? What a ball shot. Three. And Mario cut into the deficit pretty good. Now it's pretty much all dissipated. Yeah, it's. She's behind now, considerably, and that doesn't help. There it is, the three, four, six, eight, and ten. A very, very difficult shot. You don't need me to tell you that. Let's see her do it. Uh, Amanda using her own body language, trying to talk that ball over a little bit to make the shot. <laughs> a great crowd all day long here oh. at the Big 20 at Scarborough. Terrific. So we got some great crowds at Lita Lanes when I was doing the show on Channel 50 all those years. I mean, they would set up, uh, Ray Simino, the owner, would, the late Ray Simino, would set up bleachers. I don't know if you ever attended any of our no. tapings, but it was really something. People would show up, show up hours before the bowling center opened so they could get the seat they wanted. You nearly had fights break out sometimes. I'm sure. <laughs> Mario stood that right pin over. 103 through nine right now. Needs a mark here to keep it close. Amanda Carroll on a spare next. Well, it's kind of good to have. It's kind of good to have that piece of wood behind. It sort of contains the pins, uh, and kind of helps the uh, further pin action. Missed it. Right, you got got to hit the object pin, which she did not. So now she'll end up with 112 or 113. Would graze that pin. It wouldn't go. Tough break. Just just dropped it. Didn't give it quite the follow through. Amanda steps up now on a spare. Still room for bonus money. Mario 112 second string 217 through two. Amanda Carroll 88 in the ball. Won the first 134 to 105. 
$25 to win this strange. So she's all about the money. On the spare, crossing over off the wall. Seven. Well, she eight, had. Well, she seven, had ten, the NFL wild card Saturday goalpost. She had Nine, a very similar, six, very similar leave uh, hit, I should say, a couple of boxes ago, but she didn't get that many pins down. Now she can scatter all the pins over in front of the 10 pin and hopefully make the 7 10. Snowplow shot. Oh, what a try. <laughs> that violin shot across the left won't go. You know, as tough as candle pins is, tougher than 10 pin, you almost never see the 7-10 uh, made in can in 10-pin, uh, in but you see it all the time in candle pin. Obviously, the wood helps. Mandy Carroll, 10, 106 through 9. Seven pins to win $25 and increase her lead in the match with one string to go on Candle Pin World Network and WON Sports New York and their affiliates. Thank you, Jonathan Rios, for putting this on WON Sports. Very supportive, going through the uh, growing pains of, of the live stream live streaming era, where a lot of things can happen: glitching, freezing, framing, and mm -hmm. a lot, no audio. But the technology, I think, is getting a little bit better. Yep. I mean, the clarity of picture that, uh, on your show is phenomenal. I mean, it's it's so sharp. Spare in the tenth, wow. and she's won the second string. So she's going to have a good 13, 14 pin advantage in this one. In addition to what was it, 20? 29 in the first. 29, so she'll be better than 40 pins ahead. Uh, tough, tough hill to climb for Mario in game three. The number one seed holding serve in a home lanes. Yeah, yeah, Here that's the beautiful good way big to put 20. it. I like that, holding serve. Head pin hit on the bonus, eight. 124, 112, second string winner, 258. Two down, one to go, this championship match. 258 for Amanda Carroll, 217. For Mario Johnson, a 41-pin lead. Wow. We'll be back with our third and final string next on Kenneth Lamar Network and WN Sports. Ask your sister to sit in a half a tub of water. You've just saved over 10 gallons of water. So keep New York wet. Save water. Turn the water off when your mother's brushing her teeth. You'll save over a gallon of water. Keep New York wet. Save water. Welcome back to the third and final string on Candle from Bowling Network, WON Sports. Mario Johnson needs a monster string. Spread Eagle, 247-3610, a 1% chance based on Candle from Bowling Network stats for Pro Bowlers without wood. Mike Moran, play-by-play. -play. I would love to see this made today, uh, but I won't get my wish. Honestly, Pin, nothing to show for it. Yeah, she just chopped off the number two. So she'll go for the three on the right side, of course. You don't need me to tell you that, but there it is, and she won't even get that. She'll end up getting seven for the box, falling a little further behind because the way Amanda's going, she is uh, typically getting you know, marks, which will exceed the seven that uh, Mario got in the first box. Uh, time to go. It's rare to see a five seed go all the way to the top of the ladder and win. Yes. Scott Lapia did it last round. And almost a Julian strike with the headpins last to fall from Dave Julian in Canada in the 80s. Made a living off that shot. Been kind of stuck up there. Is that so right? Caught the Julian when the headpins last to fall. Shout out to our friends up north in Canada. Yeah, she's got to do nothing but marks the rest of the way out to have a chance down by 41 pins going into this game. Spear in the second box, 17 through two. She need a lot more. Amanda Carroll from Gray, Maine. Home cooking here at the Big 20. I tell you what, I've been speaking of home cooking, I've been smelling what's being cooked in the, uh, oh, the, food here is the delicious. kitchen right behind us. <laughs> the, I, I always get the grilled chicken. It is so. It is not this, you know, cheap chicken. It's really high quality chicken. Yeah. I get every time. It's so awesome. It's mouth watering. Love their pretzels too. Full husband. Spare. To stop the third. So that'll, that'll give her another at least 10 pins, probably, to her 41 going into these, uh, this third and final game, into the second box. Uh, what does she have, 340? Oh, 268 through two. Uh, 132 would give her 400, right? She has a chance. Well, outside chance. Oh, no, not quite. 130. 
Oh, boy. She ain't bigger than that. So now she's got the 7, the 8, and the 10. She's got very unhelpful wood, and she's sitting here thinking what she needs to do. 17 through 1 here in the third and final string. So I thought I heard uh, Al Johnson say hit the cap on the left. And maybe if you hit it not quite dead on, you can, oh, she's going to go for the right side. Missed it. Like that uh, gymnastics move there. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. Russian judges gave her a six. French judges give you always less. <laughs> they give you a four. <laughs> eight for Amanda Carroll, 25 through two. Up eight in the string, but Mario Johnson on a spare. So eight plus 41 puts her up 49 pins. Uh, eight to go. I can't tell you, in my years of Channel 50, uh, the biggest come from behind was uh, Joe Ashline being beaten by Hawk Hallis. He was down by, uh, Hawk Hallis was about 62 or 63 pins. In, at this point in the third match, he came back and won by, I think, one pin. And the Russ Neely Senior, I talked about the Russ Neely Senior Overnight Tournament at Stars and Strikes. I'll be there Thursday night, by the way, to cover Chris Merrill and Russ Neely Jr. and Mike Jakes. Russ Senior in the Hall of Fame, came up in the Hall of Fame, down 99 with two streaks to go. What a shot for a spare. Wow. 33 in the ball. What a mess that was. Nice Royalty cleanup. Piece. 33 in the ball through three after that spare six. So Russ Neely Senior down 99 with two strings to go, had a couple of 160 pluses and won the match. Did he? Wow. That's always so much fun to watch unless you're the guy that's at the hands of that comeback. All right, that's very doable. Uh, would rather not have to shoot at something with that many pins. but Decent would help, Mike, in the back. That's exactly. Here is spare six is 39 through three here in the third. So she's at least maintaining, but you can't maintain. Oh, there it is, bonus money. Beautiful. And there's bonus money for Mario Johnson. Out of the ball before. Yeah, I'll judge that she fouled. <laughs> he doesn't want to pay it out. He's just kidding. He's brutal. <laughs> Yeah, he's brutal sometimes, isn't he? Oh, All a good fun. I love tongue in cheek. There's a football laser. Yeah. There is a football line here. Amanda Carroll. Nine. Uh, I thought it was going to spin around and take out the ten. It didn't. All right, back to Mike Morin. And she'll uh, she'll handle this easily. This is probably I'm going to bet an 80 percent shot for her because she's so accurate. 72 is the highest pro average on record. No. Nope. Missed it in the gutter. Hit the hit, wood first. Hit the that wood. won't count. Again, we'll repeat. People are going to say, no, it went down. Well, if you see the pin is still kind of moving in the gutter because she did touch that dead wood pin first or the pin that was out of play, and then you get no, no points for whatever you get after that, or you subtract one. 34 through 3, down 5 in the string, up big in the match, up against a spare. 1, 8, 6, 10 right. Back to Mike. I would love to see this shot. Very makeable. Somebody of her ability, Amanda Carroll. Well, that, that's Just a surprise. Like she's every shot. <laughs> I know. But her, her hand-eye coordination is phenomenal. Bowling since she's five years old. Thought Karen she, Hines, 43 through four. Well, she is losing by six pins in this match, but had a 41-pin lead going in, so that should be 35 pins that Mario needs to make up in just the last six frames. And she's on a spares, we switch over to lane two. She's got three in a row. Seven blocks, two spare sixes on the bonus. Nine. Wow. All right, gonna make it a match, isn't she? 58 That's a four. great fail, she just got another nine pins back. She's 15 off the deficit, down 26 in the match. Overall, 301, 275. Amanda Carroll in the lead. Six blocks to go. Oh. Missed it. Yeah, Killer. those are the ones you can't miss when you're 40 pins behind. That's a tough Paul Grant special. Missed yeah. the second, make the third a 10. I know. 68 half here in the third. Got to take that one off the menu, Paul. No, not a shabby menu, <laughs> uh, a, a prize money menu. Now you get me thinking about food. $800, not bad for runner-up. No, it really isn't, and she's got a bunch of other money from winning the matches, she's and I think that bonus uh, money just a moment ago. She has about 12 strings, so she'll get more bonus money than others, in, in a yeah, sense. Yeah, that's right. That's the advantage of starting at the bottom and working your way up. And there's that Matt Susie special, I call it. The Atlantic Kennelton Single Store current pro champion out of Lee Lanes National Hampshire, Matt Susie, 
made the shot in the Sunday Pro League last season on a spare, for a spare. Did he have wood? wood? Oh, without wood. Without okay. wood. So I call it the Susie Special. Shout out to Matt Susie. And also got it. Well, Amanda's still cheering for her opponent, Mario Johnson. The uh, women cheering each other on, which is nice to see. But nine box. 77 through six. A good string, but not enough to catch Amanda Carroll. Yeah, she could almost put it away here with a couple of good boxes. Don't go anywhere, folks. This match is not over yet. She's a big fan of Charlie Milan. Oh, yes, I'm glad you brought him up. I think that that was one of her biggest I, uh, biggest moments in bowling, was yes. it not bowling with Charlie? Yeah, yes, who just passed away nice. months, just months ago, right? Yes. Nice shot, spare oh, off the wall. Beauty. 53 half plus one, second spare of the third. 53 half. I, I never one. heard anybody with a bad word about Charlie. Uh, just um, almost the patron saint of bowling in, in the state of Maine. Her high triple Amanda state record. 454, a 150, a 133, and a 171. And what was that triple again for? 454. Wow. Main state record. February 3rd, 2013. On the bonus, seven. Thought she had more. Four, seven, ten. Sixty, half. It was really a treat meeting uh, Don Patchell, who came by today, who's also a big name in Canopin Bowling turns 83 next week and he's still got it I don't think he bowls but he got into horse racing for a while and after his bowling days good effort there Bob LeClerc who has the highest senior triple here at uh, Big 20 actually was telling me about him I said yeah, get him on the phone see if he'll come down and sure enough yeah. tapping me on the shoulder this Don Patchell gave us some great stories didn't he yes Nine for Mandy Carroll, 69 through six, four boxes to go in this championship match for $1,200. By the way, Mandy's hobbies are canop and bowling, softball and reading. She played canop and bowling, obviously, in soccer, basketball, cross country, and softball. She coached her kids three years at SJC of Maine and coached softball for over eight years plus. Mario Johnson, the hay bale, pack of five. Tough cluster on the left side. The hay bale. Needs it. Oh! Couldn't get the sidewall action, and this is uh, barring some kind of luck. Uh, a nearly impossible shot. Nine, 86 through seven. Needs to mark out. We'll need a double at least. The sands are running through the time clock here. The hourglass is nearly full on the bottom. These are the days of our lives. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. Well, we getting old. Did you watch that as a kid with your mom? No, General Hospital. Yeah. Still watch it. I like really? The well, I like the Luke and Laura storyline back then. I got hooked on it. That did not look like a 5, 9, 10 to me. It's not as good as it used to be, obviously, without Anthony Geary. Right. I didn't know it was still on. Yeah. Mario, 5, 9, 10, missed it left. And time is running out. Scott Lapier run the ladder series. Five seed all the way to the top. Last round. Ladies first roll up ever. Top five. She'll fall short. She's been a great bowler to watch today yes. though. I'll, I'll tell you that. 95 through eight. Amanda Carroll can taste victory. I'm, I met her when she was a junior bowler. She tells me. I don't remember that. And I, I told her, I said, you know, my grandmother's name was Marion as well. And she said, oh, I remember you told me that. I said, really? Am I repeating myself 30 years later? <laughs> uh, it was great to see her, though. I hadn't seen her, obviously, in many, many years. Head pin from Amanda, four, eight, six to the right. Mike, tell, tell about your book one more time. The book is called If These Walls Could Talk. And the reason I named it that is because there's like a million celebrity photos on the wall of the Red Arrow Diner. It's the 100th anniversary this year. And I wrote a book about it. And met lots of interesting people, a lot of celebrities and stuff along the way. Politicians, too. And politicians, yeah, exactly. And some funny stories about them. Nine for Amanda, 78 through 7. Looking good for $1,200. 
Yeah, I would say she's on the verge of that. Mathematically, I'm not sure if, if that's the case, but she I think was, it is. She was terrific. That woman's first money match she did last year in Exeter last spring with Maddie Kelly outpaced her. She was terrific in that one, too. Steals the head pin. That's the 3 6 10, 7 left. We'll yeah. talk to both balls before we sign off. Make a presentation of the money. Yes, thanks to Mike, uh, to Greg Guya for uh, keeping track of the score and the technology, Greg. Awesome job as always. Flawless broadcast today, a pretty darn close. We try. Well, there were a few hiccups here and there, but I appreciate it. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you for filling in, Mike, on such short notice. Uh, Happy really to do appreciate it. appreciate it. Happy to do it if you ever need me again. Mandarin 9, 87 through 8. So Mario can still win $25 more in bonus money for winning the string. Yeah, we still got about a uh, eight pin advantage. In the string, but down 27 in the not match. A, not enough Actually, though. Actually, down 33 in the match. 33 in the match. A double strike would make it interesting. Thin hit, look at this, you gotta be kidding me. A that. four spin right, the one, three, six, ten, with the triangle broke yeah. off. Now it's a seven, eight. Tough shot to make here. Picket fence on the right side and the seven eight on the left. Nice ball. Eight, wow. ten. We'll see Amanda Carroll and Shannon Scribner. Brooke Betteridge, Kelsey Layton, Sue Brown. It's Tuesday night on Canada and Bowling Network on Facebook. We have Tuesday night Speed League at 6 30. Eight for Mario. 103 th through nine. So 133 possible. Probably wouldn't be enough. Nope. Nope. Mandy Carroll has won the latter series. Mandy Carroll is your first ever ladies. Kennel Fence Cancer Championship winner. Mario 2 1 split. I bet I bet Mario is exhausted at this point. Yeah. Six in the right, four, seven left. Got the short two. Valiant effort. Winning three of the four ladders. Fall short at number one. And she got better with each uh, succeeding series. I, I don't know what she's going to end up with uh, for this one, but. Uh, Nine blocks, 112. Wow. Third string, 329. Nothing to be ashamed of. She lost to a great one. Just four under a 111 average overall. Hmm. But it seems like nothing's going to stop Amanda Carroll today, even though she's having a down string by her standards. Here are spare sevens, but no ten boxes. Nines a while, five nines and an eight. Final two boxes. Thank you for watching on Canlip and Bowling Network. Like, share, subscribe. It's free on YouTube. No credit card required. Canlip and Bowling Network, and thanks for watching on the WON Sports Network. February 4th, we have an exhibition match with Amanda Carroll, Brooke Betteridge here out of the Big 20 at Sanford, Maine at Bowling against Al Johnson. And there's wow. a spare. She's not done. <laughs> 97 in the ball through nine. Gonna, Amazing Amanda. Gonna have a nice triple, well above her average. And win $25. For another spare, no. Oh, that's a shame. She knows she's won. she wants to get them all. She is intense. Averaging 116 the Sunday monthly pro league at Extra Lanes. Our next broadcast on Kenneth Ball Network will be yep. February 5th from 9 o'clock and 12 o'clock. 10, 115, final string. 115 to 112. Amanda Carroll is your first ladies. Kenneth Pins for Cancer Championship winner. The final score, Amanda Carroll, 355. Mario Johnson, 329. The interview is coming up next on Kenneth Ball Network and WON Sports New York. Just might burn this house down. Arson has a lot of warning signs besides smoke. Arguments followed by arson threats. Stores with empty shelves. Vandals. Unsealed vacant buildings. And building strippers. If you've noticed any of these danger signals, call the Arson Strike Force. Strike arson before it strikes you. We're waiting for the money. It's all about the money, ladies, right? Al's, Al's putting the money together for you guys, so... We'll talk to uh, Mike Moore. We'll talk to, first of all, really appreciate you coming out and helping out today. It was an honor and a dream to work with you today. Well, well, thank you. It was an unexpected invitation. I thank you for that. I've watched 
the broadcast many times. I love what you're doing. So uh, anytime you need some help again, you know where to find me. Absolutely. All right. Thank you Look very much for Paul and to Greg as well. And to you, young lady. I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just going to say, you've just bowled uh, 12 games of Candlepin Bowling uh, under pressure most of the way. And it was just tough to catch this one today, wasn't it? Oh, it always is. But it's fun, though. You just got to stick with it. I mean, I was hitting the object pin, and then I couldn't fill my marks. And, you know, it's just bowling. You're both very intense bowlers in different ways. Amanda is, you know, she wears her heart on her sleeve. And I, it looks like you can shake it off when you have a bad box. Oh, I can. Yeah. I can. Well, I don't know how much money won. We haven't added it all up. But congratulations. And you and I met 30 years ago, which you reminded me. So I really am old, and you're still a great bowler, and I'm not, so congratulations. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. So we have, uh, we have a little more time to talk as Al Johnson brings down the money. Have we figured out how much my friend Marion has I won? Think, uh, I think you get, uh, what, 20% of this, from Mario? $200 in bonus money, $800 for being the number five seed. Great effort, Mario Johnson. One of the best bowlers in the game today. Congratulations on a great run. Thousand dollar day. Three letter word, describe winning a thousand dollars today. Wow. <laughs> All right. All right. Amanda Carroll. Stay here, Mike. All right. Oops, sorry. All right. First of all, Amanda, first thing first, introduce your children to us. This is Charlotte. Hi, say hi, Charlotte. Hi. How old are you? Six. Six, okay. Emily. Come over here, Emily. Look at the Hollywood smile. Like mother, like daughter. Tell us your name. Emily, How old are you? I'm 14. Right. And we know you, Molly. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How old are you? 12. Right. You pulled the, the qualifier with your mother. You got a 361. Not bad. You got to get the candle from bowling. Look at this. Look at all the money you can win. You got to get candle from bowling, kids. I'm going to work on you, okay? Amanda, how's it feel to be the number one seed to win it all? It was a good day. I bowled pretty well. Missed the head pin quite a bit, but I made my spare shots, so it was good. You have a three-letter word described being Mario Johnson and winning the first ever ladies Candle Prince of Cancer ladder series. Wow. All right, we got some money for you too. We have $75 in bonus money. So you can buy some more wow shirts for your kids now. Oh, yeah. And we have twelve hundred dollars for being number one seed. Thank you very much. And winning the prize. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So Amanda Carroll, the number one seed, takes it. Mike, come on down again. Kids, a three-letter word describing your mother winning twelve hundred dollars in the championship. Wow. <laughs> Mike, come back over here again. Mike, tell us about your book one more time. Put it up in front of the camera. Yeah, it's called If These Walls Could Talk. It's about the 100-year history of the Red Arrow Diner, nationally known in Manchester, New Hampshire. Thank you for the opportunity to do that. Great to have you, Mike Moore. And Paul Graham and Greg Guia stand so for now. Amanda Carroll, the winner from the Big 20 in Scarborough, Maine. Thank you for watching this great game of Caleb and Bowling on Caleb and Bowling Network and WON Sports New York. Thank you again.